Hello guys, as you can tell, I am home. Instead of a dorm room video, it's a kitchen video. It's like the best lighting in the house, so it just makes sense to sit here, so. Um, but today's video is going to be on my 2021 goals. Yes, I know it is now mid-February, almost March, but I don't think it's too late to share with you guys my goals, and I have a pretty good list of them, so let's get into my 2021 goals. Now, before we actually get into the goals, You've probably heard from other life coaching people or a teacher or something that you want to have attainable goals. I don't remember what the acronym was, but you want to like have a set time frame, attainable, the reasonable, and just make sense kind of goals. And that's what all mine are. It's all for 2021 things I think I can and would like to get done in 2021, hopefully. Um, so let's get into the first one. I have them written out on my lovely whiteboard and you can see my great handwriting. Uh, we have a little glare from the window, but the first goal is 30 sales on my website. So that means sell 30 programs or take on 30 clients coaching, but 30 sales on my website, which is a good goal for me. I think if I was able to get 30 sales, I might be able to make a profit because I did have to spend a lot of money to create the website, get the domain and all that jazz. So. 30 sales and or make a profit for the year of 2021 had technically my expense was might have been 2020 no it's 2021 anyways yeah 30 sales on my website 2021 goal number two is 3,000 followers on Instagram I'm sitting at 1400 and something um, and I try to gain followers obviously but I'm trying to focus on putting out good content. It looks good. It's like makes sense for people to like it and for give people a reason to follow. You got to give them a reason to follow and I'm trying to also just be more active, uh, comment on other people's stuff and just get out there. So more active, more followers, 3,000 followers by the end of the year. I think that's possible and be really sick if I could do that. And then goal number three, 1,000 followers on TikTok. So that one's also attainable. It could even be more like if you get a viral video on TikTok, you blow up kind of. But 1,000 followers on there would be nice. I'm at like 200 something. I don't really know. To be honest, I don't actually pay attention too closely to what my followers or likes and stuff are. Um, goal number four, 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. And if you get 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, you can start monetizing your videos, having ads, and making money. So. 1,000 subscribers and I get to make money. That's a pretty sweet goal. So if you want to support your boy, check out my website, buy some stuff, maybe get a program. It helps you too. It helps you a lot. And subscribe to my YouTube because it's super easy and it can get me to the point where I can make money. Because it's all for the money. I'm just kidding. It's not all for the money. Obviously, if it was for the money, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd just be working another job. I actually enjoy doing this and love making videos for you guys. But number five, we have finish reading the Bible. So probably oh, a year and a half, two years ago, I started this Bible in a year reading plan in chronological order. So the, the dates, like in the order the events actually happened in the Bible. And I am on day 350. I'm almost done. Like I only have 20 days left, left maybe-ish on the plan. So I'll definitely be able to finish that. And for Lent this year, I'm participating in Lent. If you don't know what Lent is, um, basically you give something up. It starts 40 days before Easter, and you give something up or like do something like a sacrifice just to bring you closer to Jesus and to God. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to read the Bible every day, like actually make myself do it um, instead of like, oh, I'll skip a weekend. I'm going to read it every day. So I'll probably start the chronological plan over again or start another type of reading plan, but... I should definitely be able to finish reading the Bible. Number six, I believe, get shredded. So if you watched my last video, you know how I plan to get shredded for 2021 and be the leanest I have ever been. So that's obviously a goal for 2021, get the leanest I've ever been, the most shredded I've ever been, and I'm really excited for that. It's going to take some hard work, but it's going to be really fun, and you guys will obviously get to see the process in the pictures and stuff on Instagram. But yeah, I want to get shredded for 2021. And then that also goes into other goals that don't really have to do with getting shredded, but I want to bench 300 pounds. So bench, squat, deadlift, I want to eat, increase them all by 10 pounds from what my mat, last max was. 
So that'd be bench 300 pounds, squat 465, and deadlift 515. That's 10 pound increase in all of them. But ideally, like those are what I wanna get at least, but ideally, I'd bench 315, that's a big goal for me. Three plate club, squat 475, that's a big number. That'd be a jump of 20 pounds. Um, and deadlift 525. So ideally, I like to get those, but if not, I wanna at least increase them all by 10 pounds, which I think is pretty attainable. And then, I don't even know what number this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number 10, I have Dean's List for both semesters. So at college, the Dean's List is kind of like honor roll in high school, where basically, if you have such good grades, such good GPA, you get to be on the Dean's List. And so far, so good. I made it for this first semester, which was technically 2020. But my goal is to be on the Dean's List for both semester to 2021. So this current semester and the next fall semester. And I want to make, make it known, like, grades aren't everything. But they're very important to me. If you know me, I, I kind of like to be the best I can in literally everything and competitive. Like, that's why I... I, I want to get an A in every class, literally every class I want to get an A, and if I don't, I'm going to be pretty disappointed in myself a little bit, but I know grades aren't, anything, aren't everything, and I, I kind of place more importance on them because the goal is to learn. I mean, I'm paying to go to school, I'm paying for these classes, I want to learn and get the knowledge and use it for the rest of my life. So, being on the Dean's List to me shows that I learned, that I was able to get good grades from my learning. It kind of like, it shows me that I learned. Um, it might not mean the same, like you might learn stuff and get bad grades, that's fine, but the goal is to learn, get your money's worth, because you are paying for college, so. Um, and if you're wondering, my major is business economics, and I'm minoring in accounting. So it literally has nothing to do with my fitness stuff, but I figured that would be helpful if I wanted to, like something to fall back on, because I don't necessarily need to go to school for my fitness stuff, I get a certification, but business economics, good degree to fall back on, because I can do something else if shit hits the fan and I don't end up being successful with this stuff. But my goal long term be successful with this stuff and make money, do it for the rest of my life because I love it and I like training people so I'm gonna get training too. Um, but that leads me into one of my other goals. Uh, we'll jump down to the bottom just because I was talking about it. And that is get certified. So if you can see that, that says get certified and I mean get personal training certified or um, a training certification from somewhere just so I can be more legit and expand my knowledge and feel more confident coaching and training uh, my clients. I just want to be more confident that no matter who comes up to me, I can help them and get them results. So I want to get certified. And then my last goal is going to be get sponsored by BPN Subs. So if you know me, I often post about BPN. I use all their supplements, that's the company I trust and use, and I've applied for the ambassador program three times, maybe, and have not gotten in, but it's kind of like motivating, like, I'm going to make it to the point where BPN, if you guys are watching this, probably not, if you guys are, like, you're going to want me. I'm going to get to the point where you're going to want me. I'm not even going to have to come to you, you're going to be wanting me. That's my goal. <laughs> I just want to work hard and get sponsored by them because I like their company, like for this, what they stand for and supplements are good. Um, and if I get sponsored by another company for something else, that'd be sick too, like a clothing company. But those are my goals for 2021. I honestly probably have more that I just haven't, didn't think of for this video or I'll think of later on. But those are my goals. Um, maybe next year, at the end of 2021, start of 2022, I'll have a video going over did I achieve my goals or uh, and then also a new video for my goals for 2022, but hopefully hopefully I achieve all these If you guys want to help me out, you know how follow subscribe like comment check out the website. Let me help you um, And yeah support your boy. I love all sport I'm very thankful you guys definitely helped me out a lot and I have fun enjoy doing this I'm not stopping anytime soon. So Thank you and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Have a great freaking day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.